Okay, so what we have here is an 04 GMC Sierra with a 6.6 Duramax and our main, main complaint here is that it's just running rough and if we look right away here straight away uh, we can see here we've got our fuel our injector uh, balance what we had at idle for injector balance and if you notice right away our number one injector and number one and uh, number seven injector are very high which means they have got a rather low flow rate so the the uh, PCM is in increasing the pulse width of that injector we have milliseconds here we're at 1.11 whereas all of our other injectors are in the 0.6 range we got one here that's a little bit high at 0.73 but uh, most of we're right around the high point or the high 60s to low 70s except for these two injectors and these two injectors did set a misfire code for 1 and 7 and then we can see here too our uh, our flow rate estimation is at 15 <coughs> on those two and pretty much right around 7 we're a little a little bit higher on uh or negative 7 on the rest of them and a little bit higher again on on 2 and 8 also so uh uh, what we uh, want to do here first of all we want to confirm whether we've got injector problems or whether we've got a uh, whether we've got a problem with uh, a mechanical problem in the engine so uh, what I've done here I've got the lab scope set up I've got it set up at four, on the 40 amp scale or at the 40 amp setting but then I've turned it down to the 20 amp scale I'm on a two second sweep and then I got it AC coupled and what I've got is I've got my high amp probe I've got it set at 400 amps on the 400 amp setting on my high amp probe I've got it uh, it's kind of hard to see down in back in there but I've got it around both starter cables going or both of the high pressure uh, both of the power cables going to the starter and then I've got my uh, trigger here which I got on the on the lead on the starter and then hooked up to the positive battery. So we'll uh, give her a crank here and we'll see what we got for how what we, we want to find out here if our engine is mechanically sound or if we have a compression problem that's causing that imbalance or if we've actually got an injector problem. So we'll uh, hopefully the wire stays on the starter here while I crank it and we'll see what happens. <laughs> bring that back here and we'll take a look at it oops there we go and we can see we're looking pretty steady I mean we've got nice even cranking drawing drawing steady amps on all eight cylinders as we turn the engine over so I didn't crank it very long there it seemed like it always seems like you're cranking longer than what you actually are but in reality that was only a little over two seconds of cranking time see if I can get this so we're okay there on the mechanical side, so we know we've got an injector problem. I'll show you something else here. Uh, bring that back up. Uh, let's just see here. We'll close this. I'll open this up and uh, look at recent documents. Another problem that we do have here is uh, with our fuel pressure. I noticed too that even though it was running rough, it was also surging a little bit. And uh, let's see here if I can get this. Just here's our desired pressure. We see we're pretty steady. When I got that spike there, I, I goosed her a little bit, gave her a little bit of gas just to see what the response would be. And uh, here we'll look at actual fuel pressure. We can see here our actual fuel pressure is running quite a bit higher than what our desired is. And you can see the surging going on here with our fuel pressure. And you can feel the engine surge as our fuel pressure would surge. So we've got a problem with our fuel pressure regulator on this vehicle as well. So I'll close back out of there. And I think you can, uh, if I look, uh, let me see, oops, I think that was the wrong one. But you can see we're nice and steady across here. I'll have to wait for this to open. Uh, close this again. Oops. Uh, we'll look at our injector balance again. I'll show you something where you can actually see the surging 
in the injector balance as well. I'll just uh, click on one of these. And you can see here our commanded on time is going up and down and that was corresponding to what our fuel pressure was actually running at the time. I didn't save all the data, I just saved the data PIDs for this on this on the uh, injector balance but you can see as we were as this here is our, our uh, flow rate of our injectors is going up and down that was corresponding with the surging of the vehicle and the surging was corresponding with the fluctuations in fuel pressure so that's sort of a secondary issue here is getting a fuel pressure regulator taken care of but our, our primary concern here is getting these injector balances down to within a reasonable evenness you may not get them all exactly the same but they should be within three or four points of each other when you look at uh, your flow rates here so again that's about it uh, the main point here is just doing the importance of doing the, the uh, relative compression test here it's about the only way you can do a mechanical check on a diesel truck like this uh, it doesn't matter if it's Cummins or uh, Power Stroke or Duramax, this is about the best way to do it with a high amp probe. Usually a low amp probe isn't big enough to get around the battery cable, so I usually use the high amp probe to uh, get this done. And uh, we can see we're pretty, we're running pretty even. Got a little low spot right there, but not, it doesn't seem to be a repeating pattern on it. So we'll, uh, we'll let her go at that and we'll get those two injectors changed and we'll see what happens to her fuel pressure. And then we'll take care of that and there's also some EGR problems noted and uh, uh, turbo boost problems. The turbo boost could be related to the uh, the code set for the turbo could be related to our injector problem as long as you can also end up with mass airflow codes when you have injector problems on these two. I'll show you uh, just a little feature here just got this scanner updated to the 12.2 when you save a movie now it'll tell you when you go to the vehicle history page it shows you the uh, any movies you've changed or any movies that you might have saved for that. This isn't scope stuff, this is uh, if you saved any of the data as a movie it shows up here as an attachment so you know you've got it, the only thing is you can't access it from here. At least I've been trying to and it doesn't work so at least it lets you know that you did save a movie then you can go back to your saved data page uh, right here, data manager page, and you could probably find it in there. I got way too many stuff, way too much stuff stored in there for me to find it quickly. So I guess that's about it. Again, we got this was a 04 GMC Sierra 66 Duramax. This is the VIN 2 Duramax. I think the LL7 is what they call it. Uh, the VIN 2. I usually go by the VIN numbers. I don't usually go by the RPO numbers when referring to these things. So. And that's about it. So that's it.